Hi, eighth graders. I want to introduce you to an idea that builds on the work of our sketchbooks from earlier in the year. This week, the upcoming week, we are going to think about journaling and using our drawing skills, our other art skills, and our writing skills to document some of our experiences through the week. I put a picture up here from Leonardo da Vinci's sketchbook. And he was notorious and well known for documenting the flora, the fauna all around him. And his careful observations told very powerful stories about nature and about people and animals. This is a Frida Kahlo work from her visual journal. And you can see it certainly is different. Some things though it has in common. Um, the elegant strokes, the inclusion of writing. And in her case, though, she was telling stories about her emotional life, about her feelings, her thoughts, turning it into visual form and written form. This is the work of an artist named Basho, who was a Japanese poet. And he would travel around Japan to famous sites, beautiful places, and write short haiku poems about what he saw and make paintings to go with them. This is a contemporary art journal. And you can see this artist pulled together both some writing and collections of words that were all woven together. Some were stapled, there was painting and other kinds of techniques. Kind of like Frida, uh, it's an important way to tell the emotional story of their life. This is from one of mine. This is a side of the park by Lake Michigan. So often I'd run up and down the lakefront when I lived in Chicago. And this is not too far away from McCormick Place. Also from one of my uh, visual journals, this is when I would visit my grandmother when she lived in a home for people that needed memory care. And she didn't really remember me, my siblings, my family, but it was always good to see her and we would sometimes document that experience. Or this is a room from my home where the children would sleep. And this was in a sketchbook that I shared with another artist who lived in North Carolina and we would send it back and forth to tell stories about our experiences. So what's going to happen is every day next week, from the 27th to May 1st, I want you to work on developing a visual journal. And so I want you to spend your time, those 20 minutes, documenting something that you see and the experiences that you have in that day. It could be a very direct drawing of what you see, or it could be an interpretation of your experience. You can do this in your sketchbook or any surface that you have available. Similarly, you can use pencil, pen, paint, markers, or pencils for this work. And you can certainly integrate collage and patterns in any way that suits you. I want them to be as creative as they can be. But in addition to the drawing, I also want you to write about the art you make. And you can use standalone words, poems, a description, a story, or a song. Anything that is appropriate for the thing that you see, the experience you're trying to depict, the emotions you feel. In one way or the other, we want to weave those together into the work. 